Hello YouTube, my voice is painful, I'm sick, uh, so let's keep it short today. Today we're talking about the Terrestrian Plague, one of the most deadly diseases to ever rage over Tamriel. So when we talk about diseases and the like on Tamriel, most people immediately think about Morwin's Blight disease, but if you're a bit more versed in lore, you might also think about Tamriel's two big epidemics, the Knothen Flu, on which I already did a video a few weeks ago, and the Thracian Plague, which we will talk about in this video. While in the case of the Knothen Flu, the exact cause is basically unclear, Though many suspect that the Argonians and the Hist were behind it, it's quite clear that the Thracian Plague was in fact likely created purposefully and as a means to weaken Tamriel and kill as many of its inhabitants as possible. But let's begin at the beginning. Around 700 years before the end of the First Era, in the year 2260 of that era, a deadly disease suddenly started to rage over Tamriel. It started spreading from the west of Tamriel and the people of Tamriel had no idea what caused it. All that they knew was that this disease killed and that it killed quickly. According to survivors that we can speak to in the Elder Scrolls Online, the disease was everywhere. One could get infected through every person, every creature and every drop of water, meaning that it was likely extremely potent and was a long surviving pathogen that could be transmitted into the body through many ways, or it was simply magical. For those people who don't like science to be included in Elder Scrolls. Although I'm not part of that. Anyway, it said that once uh, one contracted the disease, they got an incurable thirst and that if one did not drink something, they would simply die. This caused a lot of the people who were infected to drink until they ended up putting on immense weight through the water and other substances that they drank and that they vomited all the time. This made it so that their bones cracked under their enormous new weight to a point where the afflicted, if they survived that long and had access to enough substance to drink, because a lot of people simply died out of malnourishment, that they barely passed for humans and elves anymore, looking more like large slugs, earning the disease the nickname the Slug Famine. The disease got a hold in nearly every province except Black Marsh and caused Tamriel's population to be almost cut in half. Everyone sat in misery, nobody profited, except for one group of creatures, the Slowed. In the same region where the disease started, the west of Tamriel, the Slowed, the large slug-like creatures who are the masters of necromancy and really like to experiment on dead bodies, were retrieving bodies for their necromantic experiments from the immense graves near the coast, because a lot of people died. The Slowed, with their large magical airships to transport the bodies, were likely having an absolute blast and the people of Tamriel were, well, not having that. And the people started suspecting that the Slowed may have actually been behind all this, Due to, in no small part, that the Slodes were big, fat, slug-like creatures, which is what the people who contracted the disease were basically being morphed into. Once people realized all this, the disease was dubbed the Thracian Plague, named after the continent of Thrace, which is the homeland of the Slod. And many people started to bear understandably angry feelings towards the Slod, but Tamriel was in too much disarray to actually do something about it. After some time, treatments were found. One of these was found by Archmaiden Cyrobane, who later became a god and that kind of thing, but we have no time for that. Cyrobane had a ring, which could apparently save many people from death, and apparently he also established a cure for the disease, but that's not really clear from history. This ring could apparently stave off death and bring people slowly back to health. And it's likely that more cures like this were found, because while the disease would not disappear for hundreds of years, it became less severe in the subsequent years, and Tamriel could heal, at least somewhat. And once Tamriel was at least somewhat healed, the citizens of Tamriel started plotting revenge against the ones who had brought them all this misery, the Slowed. A guy named Bendu Olo, who was the king of the port city of Anvil at the time, called upon all races and creatures of Tamriel to unite and help him attack Thras in revenge. Assisted by Archmage Cyrobane, they started forming the All Flags Navy, a fleet bigger than any that had ever been seen on Tamriel or ever will be again. As both friend and enemy, elf and man, beast and humanoid, banded together in one great force to bring revenge to Thras. From all sides, even elven supremacists to Sigic Order, they all came and boarded the massive fleet to extract revenge. The fleet sailed to Thras and killed every slow that they could find, so reportedly sinking the entire coral kingdom to the bottom of the sea and destroying everything through unknown magic. Never again did the slow dare to attack Tamriel after this, and it took a very, very long time for the slow to recover from this, if they ever did. 
In the end, the disease did not only permanently weaken the Slode, but also weakened large parts of Tamriel, as due to the disease the rule of the Alessian Order came to an end, and the Riemann Empire was able to conquer Valenwood and elsewhere hundreds of years later. So the effects were lasting, and the shifts of power of Tamriel were actually very much influenced by this disease. But before we end the video, allow me to present to you a theory. One that many of you may have already come to realize and one that I personally find very likely and that is kind of prevalent online in the lore community as well, so I'll tell you the theory. Did the Slode actually cause the Thracian Plague? In retrospect, it seems clear because of the name, I mean the Thracian Plague, because, you know, who lives in Thras? The Slode. But who named the plague? The people of Tamriel. Did they really cause it? Because no evidence was ever found. All the evidence that we have is assumed. It's assumed that the Slode caused, uh, caused the disease, but did they? Because the Slode have always collected bodies of the coast of Western Tamriel, even before the plague, as you can hear in my video on the Slodes. So, yeah, the Slode very much profited. But was that really by their own design? I mean, they are an easy scapegoat, profit of the situation, have attacked Tamriel in the past, look like slugs, while the disease makes us one looks like slugs. And you know, generally, slows are assholes to humans and elves. But did they really cause it, or were they just a convenient scapegoat, a group of key creatures which are blamed for something that could be circumstantial, or something that was placed on the western coast of Tamriel, to maybe blame the slows after the fact? We don't know, but in lore the omission of evidence and the omission of their direct guilt is very striking and the evidence that there is, is hardly airtight, like the, you know, the coast. And I just personally believe that there's a good chance that the Slode might not have actually done it, but that's up to all of your interpretations, not mine. Anyway, I recommend that you watch my video on the Slodes. And my video on the Knathen Flu and the Ash Blight, because I mentioned all of those in this video and I did not elaborate on them because I already made videos on them, so, you know, no need to repeat myself. Both are in the description of this video, so if you're up for more lore, that's where you can find it. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, oh boy, my throat hurts, I'm not up for the outro. See you next week.